In this video, I'm going to share five gimbal moves with you that will take your filmmaking skills into a whole new level. Five simple techniques and you will be a whole new filmmaker, I promise you that. And all you need is your phone plus any smartphone gimbal that you can get your hands on. Stay tuned. What is happening everybody? It is your boy Sean and I'm here and all whatever you are, like always, you're doing fantastic. I don't know if you noticed, but smartphone cameras are taking over. Smartphone filmmaking has entered its new stage and every year there's new technology. 4K60, ProRes, 10-bit, you name it. But it's not only the camera that's getting all the love and the attention, it's other smartphone filmmaking tools as well. Like gimbals, every year we're getting new models released from different brands. I currently have the DJI Osmo 6, and with just a phone and a setup like this, you can get out there and create content like never before. It is a lot easier to start your filmmaking career, and you don't necessarily need all that high-end, expensive, and heavy camera gear. This is pretty much all you need to reach those filmmaking goals. And in this video, I'm gonna share five gimbal moves that will help you become a better filmmaker. So without further ado, let's get to it. The first one, I almost feel like I invented this move, but it's probably not true, but that's how I feel about it because I've been doing this move ever since the run in M days back in the day in 2015 when gimbals were just hitting the market. Even before we had the luxury of having our hands on stabilization systems, as budget filmmakers, I always had this vision of a moving object moving towards me and I'm moving in a separate direction with a tele lens and I'm creating this beautiful parallax effect behind my subject. So the first move is called, let's just come up with a name, moving across in a separate direction. Now you can use the 1x zoom for this shot or you could use the 3x. I prefer the 3x just because it adds that parallax effect. The movement is very simple. You're moving in the opposite direction of your subject, but the trick is to try to keep your subject in frame at all times. But when you're on a tele lens, it makes it a little bit challenging. But with a little bit of practice and adjusting the settings of your gimbals to be smooth as X, you'll be able to pull this off just fine. Let's call this one the reveal. I'm calling this one the reveal because we're revealing the character and the location at the same time. So it starts with a tracking shot that starts with a close-up from the feet of our character on the side. And as the subject moves, we go behind it. And as soon as we get closer to the location, the camera rises and the camera angle at the beginning is somewhat straight and as soon as we start to come up I tilt the camera just a bit with the angle a little bit higher just so we can see the location properly the next one is called the character reveal now this is a really nice way to reveal your character for the first time and the move starts with the camera being on the side of the shoulder of our character and we pull back to the opposite side while the character is turning around. And this combination creates a really nice dynamic movement. And I'm using the 1X lens and I'm trying to keep the subject on the left side of the frame to get a better composition when I'm pulling out. Let's call this one the dolly pan. This move really works well when you have your subject against the wall. So when you are panning throughout this shot, the wall really plays a big role in the change of our perspective. And that makes the shot really nice. And as soon as we get closer to our model, she looks into the camera to make the shot even more dramatic and really grabs the viewer's attention. Tilt up, moving. In this shot, I start by the feet of our subject and as I move in, I tilt the camera upwards, revealing my character, asking her to look in the camera and I'm using the 3X camera on my phone to make this shot more dynamic. Now you might be wondering, Sean, why is your color grading so on point? Well, don't you worry, my friend. I put together a LUT pack for you currently on sale that will make your footage look as awesome as mine with a click of a button. Click the link in the description to take advantage of this limited time offer. Nowadays, it's so damn easy to create high-end looking content. All you need is a phone and a gimbal that doesn't cost you more than $160. And the iPhone 14 Pro has a big upgrade in the camera where you can take 48 megapixels raw. And I just compared it with a full-frame mirrorless camera and you won't believe the results. Click the link up here to check it out. And if you found this video useful, you know what to do. Hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Guys and girls, until we see each other next time, Sean and I.